This week marks the second national debate for the 2012 presidential race. President Barack Obama and GOP challenger Mitt Romney get to sit this one out. Instead, their running mates will be stepping up to the podium on October 11th. You're watching The Ballot. It's a weekly series where the Oklahoma's political staff discusses the big topics leading into the 2012 elections. The Oklahoma's Chris Castile joins us now from the nation's capital. And Chris, how big is the debate between Vice President Joe Biden and U.S. Congressman Paul Ryan? Dave, it's important. There's no question. It's the only vice presidential debate. It'd be the only chance for people to see um, Republican Paul Ryan and uh, the vice president Joe Biden square off uh, in the next month. And, um, you know, clearly there, there won't be as many people watching it, I don't think, as, uh, as watched the presidential debate last week or that will watch probably the, the other presidential debates. But for a lot of people, this will be the first time they get to see Paul Ryan and, um, and, and, judge him, judge him not just based on what he says, but you know, how he acts, how he performs. And uh, you know, this is a, a, a different challenge for uh, the vice president too, a much different uh, opponent than, uh, uh, than Biden had in 2008 against uh, uh, former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. I mean, Paul Ryan is a formidable opponent. He, he, he's a budget expert and he knows these numbers. And uh, you know, on um, uh, foreign policy, I think, uh, you know, Biden may may hold an edge. But uh, again, Paul Ryan's going to know a lot of that, uh, that, that ground as well. The debate between President Obama and Romney focused on the economy, health care and energy. What are some of the topics Biden and Ryan will focus on? They'll cover everything, all, all of the topics, you know, from, from uh, uh, domestic to uh, foreign affairs. It's, as I said, it's the only vice presidential debate, the only crack um, at, at the, seeing these guys that, that voters will have, so they'll need to, to figure out, you know, where they are on everything. But clearly, you know, domestic uh, issues are going to dominate uh, the economy, the budget, taxes, uh, the deficit, and uh, this is definitely Paul Ryan's uh, area of expertise. He's the chairman of the House Budget Committee and really is the architect of kind of the Republican position on a lot of these issues right now, particularly when it comes to, to Medicare. You know, two years ago, the House Republican budget that was authored by him would have basically eliminated the Medicare program as a government program and instead given seniors older than 55, the people who would enter the, the Medicare program 10 years from now, um, uh, premium support, that is money to go buy um, uh, private insurance. That's been mod that was modified this year. The the Ryan budget this year uh, would al would have allowed that premium support to have been applied to the traditional Medicare program, the government program. And so I, I think mainly that, that you know there's going to be a lot of Medicare talk in, in this debate tomorrow night. You know Joe Biden, uh, he was in the Senate and was um, an, an expert on foreign affairs in the Senate, but uh, he knows this stuff as well. I mean he. Um, Clearly, you know, had to deal with all the all these budget uh, uh, issues as a member of Congress. But uh, even last summer, he you know helped negotiate, um, was in on the negotiations to to uh, deal with the debt ceiling crisis. So, um, but I expect uh, you know, like I said, the focus to be mainly on domestic issues. And we're chatting with the Oklahoma's Chris Castile from our Washington Bureau. He's in the newsroom with the Washington Examiner, our partners in D.C. And Chris, we're almost a week removed from the first presidential debates, and both U.S. Representative Tom Cole and Governor Mary Fallon say Romney was the clear winner. But what is the general consensus in Washington on Obama's performance? Well, I don't think there's much argument uh, in, in any quarter, really, uh, even among many hardcore uh, Democratic partisans that uh, President Obama did not uh, do that well. Last week in the debate, I, I think even the president has uh, acknowledged uh, in comments at a campaign fundraiser, you know, that he did not perform flawlessly. There was, you know, just a lot of uh, confusion among his supporters, I think, about why he seemed so listless and unengaged and uh, acting like, you know, he'd rather be anywhere else. Um, while, you know, uh, Mitt Romney was on his game, there's no question uh, he... Uh, Counterpunched and it was aggressive. It was on you know on the offensive uh, most of the night, and uh, President uh, Obama, you know, just was not. And I, I think uh, you know you'll see a, a totally different uh, president uh, uh, presidential style next week, probably in the debate. You know that debate was focused so much uh, the president and, and Romney both, but particularly the president just focused so much on numbers. And, uh, you know, five trillion this, 700 billion this. And I just think that he'll come out 
with a different style. And the, and the format next week is just so much different. It's a town hall uh, format next week uh, for the presidential debate where people, um, you know, these chosen citizens uh, will, will ask questions. So it won't be a, a situation where Obama will be, uh, where the president will be looking away from um, the, um, uh, his opponent, uh, Mitt Romney, or, you know, looking down, looking at the moderator, whatever. I mean, he'll be engaged with these people asking questions. So, I, you know, I definitely think uh, that they'll put that one behind him. All right. Well, Chris, as always, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you again next week to talk more about the presidential race. Later this week on the ballot, though, we'll be discussing some topics and questions surrounding the local races. Of course, you can find complete election coverage online at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman leading up to this year's elections.